Creeper. Oh man. Creeper, creeper, oh man. Creeper, 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 oh man, 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 man. Creeper, creeper, oh man. Creeper, 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 oh man, 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 man. Creeper, oh man, oh man. Creeper, creeper, oh man. Creeper, oh creeper, oh man. Creeper, creeper, oh man, creeper, 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 oh man, 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 creeper, creeper, oh man, creeper, 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 oh man, 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 creeper, creeper, oh man, creeper, 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 oh man, creeper, oh creeper, oh man. City's always looking for new talent. You think you have what it takes? Yeah. See your princess, everything's alright, oh No job or the answer to Ain't a fixture in the palace zoo, no And since the carpet night's off me I'm living life now that I'm free, yeah Told me to get myself together Now I got myself together Now I made it through the weather Better days are gonna get better I'm so happy The carpet night is gone I'm moving on I'm so happy
Greetings, I'm Shad, and welcome to my analysis of the defences of Whiterun, which is one of the main cities in the video game The Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Now before we begin, just on a realism note, I will point out of course the big problem with this city is the size, because in reality what we're seeing here is not the size of a real city, it's a secure commune, a small village really that has a wall around it. But of course I understand why this is the case, it's a limitation in the video game. So that's really neither here nor there, I'm just pointing it out. So, is Whiterun an effectively fortified city? And I will call it a city just for the sake of the game, even though in reality it's not the right size. Well it's very interesting because there is a yes and a very big no. Looking at the city from above, the layout is actually very, very good. There are several layers of defense. The main entrance to the city has two gatehouses to defend it, which also causes any attacker who is trying to get through those gatehouses to follow a preset path in which, if taken advantage of, those enemies would be under the defender's arrow fire and attacks constantly. The problem is, that's really not been taken advantage of, and I'll get to that. But still, fundamentally, in the basic layout, this is perfect, it's beautiful. And this can also be said for the layout of the rest of the city. Once they breach, or if the enemy gets through these outer gates and breaches the city, there is an internal wall dividing the city in two, meaning the enemy has only taken half of the city. And if the walls were built properly and effectively, the defenders of the city would be able to get atop the ramparts that really should be there, but they're not, again I'll get to it, the ramparts that should be there on the wall that is dividing the city into two, and then defend the rest of the city from the enemy that has breached the first part. And then again, if the enemy breaches the second part, they still haven't got to the palace main structure where the Lord is living. And I call it palace main structure because Dragon's Reach, uh, I wouldn't really call a castle. But in regards to Whiterun's layout, it's beautiful. It, it is absolutely beautiful. Everything falls apart after that. Now part of this might be in regards to the lore of the city. One of the themes that you really see around Skyrim is that everything in terms of the stone structures do seem to be in some state of disrepair unless they are kind of occupied by the Imperial forces. And there are exceptions, but all the main kind of castles and forts that you see scattered throughout Skyrim, they're in ruins. And the walls around Whiterun are no exception to this. There are no ramparts anywhere for anybody to be able to be atop these walls, to be protected while they're atop them, and to be able to fire down on enemies on the outside. There are tower-like alcoves, kind of like wall bastions, that have small shelters built atop them, but there's no cover for anyone who would be standing there at all. And this begs the question, is this wall even effective? Well, it's effective in the sense that it would make it difficult for someone from the outside to get on the inside without having to climb it, but there's a very easy way to fix that, and that's called a siege tower. Now, of course, one of the main ways that you defend against a siege tower is to put your wall up a slope or behind a moat or something like that that prevents siege equipment from reaching it. Unfortunately, Whiterun doesn't really have that. Now, it is built on a raised kind of hill, but there are too many areas around the city where the slope or incline is forgiving enough that you could roll a siege tower up to the wall. There are cases in real historical cities where the external terrain also was as forgiving to be able to get siege towers up to the wall, and so then what did they do next? Well, that is where they had battlements atop the walls. A place where the defenders can stand and be protected and try and shoot at people atop the siege tower that is approaching. And then you can try and bottleneck the people on the siege tower, 